If your city skylines 2 is crashing at random moments and bringing you back to the desktop without giving any error message, and if you can find the message in the error log that your graphics card seems to be too small despite the fact that you literally have the biggest graphics card there is, then this video might fix this issue for you, at least until the developers fix their code in the first place. Unfortunately, I can only demonstrate how to fix this problem on NVIDIA graphics cards. If you are on AMD, feel free to watch the video and then find out if and where you can do the same settings to your AMD driver. All we need to do is we need to open the NVIDIA control panel, then go to manage 3D settings, switch over to program settings. In here, select City Skylines 2. In case City Skylines 2 does not show up in the dropdown, make sure to add the game to the list by clicking the Add button. Once you have selected City Skylines 2, scroll down to Max Frame Rate and make sure to give it a low value. Depending on your graphics card, you want to go a little bit lower or a little bit higher. I have started testing with originally 20 frames a second and this is when I realized that the system is working stable. I am on an RTX 4090, so I have managed to bring the frame rate all the way up to 60 frames a second and on 60 frames per second, I can play the game on the highest settings, even with volumetric clouds and all of that nice stuff without any performance issue. The only times in which I have stutters or quick freezes is when the autosave is saving. Remember, the FPS target of the developers is 30 frames per second. Once you have changed the maximum frame rate, make sure to apply the settings, then open up City Skylines 2 and enjoy the game in the way it should be enjoyed. And here's a small tip for you if you want to check if the FPS limits are actually in place. If you're playing on Steam, open the Steam overlay by either using the hotkeys on your keyboard or by going into the menu and in the menu click onto your name and in here you can go to the settings and then go to in-game, in-game and then to in-game FPS counter and then click onto top left or any other corner, close the Steam overlay again and load into the game. You should now see an FPS counter at the whatever configured corner of your screen, and this will give you a good idea if the game is actually running at your limit. Here, I'm running at 60 frames per second, as I set my limit to, and it's relatively stable. Also, as I said, I am now able to play the game on high without any stutters and any hiccups, and it's just enjoyable compared to what it was before. All right, I hope this video helped you. In case it did, let me know in the comment section down below. I am Greeny, and if you're interested in content about how to create content on YouTube or how to live stream, check out my other videos. If you're expecting more shitty Skylines videos, I am very sorry, that's not the content I do. I am Greeny, this is Greenbox, thanks for watching, and I hopefully see you in one of my regular videos. Goodbye, bye bye.